I'm Virginia Jones. Uh, my nickname is Ginger. I'm from Louisiana State University at Alexandria in the state of Louisiana, and I was at the University of Montenegro. I taught uh, American literature in 2006-2007. The time that I applied for a Fulbright, um, I was an associate professor of English at LSU in Alexandria. I was still in touch with my graduate professors, who, two of whom who had uh, gotten Fulbrights at, uh, in Southern Europe, one at Niche, and they encouraged me to apply. I had other colleagues who had also served with Fulbright, and they too encouraged me, and rather than apply for a sabbatical, I decided to apply for a Fulbright. I was pretty lucky in my Fulbright year. Uh, the, probably the most challenging experience I had was trying to learn so Serbo-Croat. It's a very difficult language. I had to learn a new alphabet. I wish I had spent more time learning it. But if I wanted to shop and eat <laughs> and uh, meet new people, I had to speak their language. Although I was assured that many people in Montenegro spoke English, um, and they do, but they felt very felt very comfortable speaking their own language, too. That was the biggest challenge. Perhaps the biggest surprise were how intelligent the students were. They were much brighter than I expected them to be. Uh, they spoke several languages besides their own, including English and French, often Italian. Um, they watched American and British movies. Um, I was also touched by the warmth of the people I met. They were very curious about me as an American. They were curious about our politics. Um, they were friendly. They brought me small gifts. They wanted me to get to know them. I remember once paying my electricity bill and uh, having a, a man invite me into his little cubby hole and sit. And he um, indicated that I should stay, which I did, a little nervously. And he put on a record sung by Frank Sinatra, and he kept smiling and pointing to the record and pointing to me, and I realized that was his way of welcoming me to his country. My Fulbright gave me more confidence in my teaching. I now can go, I teach at a small uh, branch of a major university, so I can go into students who are not very sophisticated, who have not traveled a great deal, and, ex and encourage them and say, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, I bring that to the classroom. I talk about places I've traveled. I was able to travel on my Fulbright as well. So when we study literature from these particular countries, British literature, for example, um, I can say, I've been there. This is what this is like. And Fulbright gave me the opportunity to go. I think I would say, investigate what you want to do for Fulbright and how you want to serve. Um, this is a terrific opportunity for uh, meeting new people, um, uh, having, uh, experiencing the world in a unique way. Um, know what you want to explore, know how you want to teach, have a strong passion for your project, or if you have some terrific ability or skill, Simply involve Fulbright in that and ask them to place you somewhere because perhaps you can do best, they know best. Um, so I would say spend time on that five page essay. Um, it's not, it, it seems like it's a lot to write about, but it's not. So make sure your writing is thorough and you, that you're focused. <laughs>